Hello, you will be told that a hundred years ago the government launched a Ministry of Munitions uh, for the uh, aspiration of a scientific development to create a shell breeder to achieve a victory to counter the opposition gaining ground in the areas of the Somme in 1916. You will be told that the scientific development was necessary to produce the victory. Yet that very invention, as you are told, of the Ministry of Musicians is spurious. Is it a history that lies? Or is it that we actually believe this? For two reasons. One is that if that ministry was founded as a ministry of musicians in 1916, they were not playing the violin. If the ministry of munitions, however, were able to still play the violin less ably than to build a shell to offend the opponent who is allegedly on the other side, why then are those shells, as very often composers such as Mozart violin concerto, or clarinet concerto, or even Haydn's trumpet concerto, why did these shells of musicians of mice that made men even end up killing themselves. This history is about the reasons that those people question what is history. To not give by name any famous website which has conscripted me in this respect to ascertain what is needed to be said of our history, or your history, it is necessary for you to ask yourself, I cannot ask you, because it is subjugatory, it is subjugating, to ask yourself why you tell these lies which are history. That is the first part, and the second part is the question that you have to say to yourself, or ask yourself, if the Ministry of Munitions was actually, as we are told, on the television news bulletin, founded in 1916, why is the truth not also expedited that the munitions of the war, for instance, at Waterloo, or the munitions used at the Battle of, for instance, Navy, 
were in any less sense battles because a munitions ministry was not founded then. You see, the problem is, isn't it, or is it, you ask yourself, I am not allowed to ask you this question almost because it would put ideas into your mind. But those ideas are in people's minds. Ask them. Don't ask me. Ask them why they tell such lies as to support the fact that those histories of Waterloo, of three victories or losses at Cadiz, should actually put on the British phone a, a person whose marriage alone makes them the King of England as William the third of Orange in 1688. I mean, yeah. uh, I will not be able to show you one cent of the mistake that this film is able to just start in your mind the question, what is your path? What is your people's path? And what is it that makes some of you tell others that those histories are to remain silent? And as one famous website said to this fellow, that history is not apparent to be told. Who has the right to tell you what is your past? Well, I will tell you who has the right to tell you what is your past. Who is your master has the right to tell you what is your path? Am I your master? You would have to ask the Queen of England who is your master. You might have to ask the Archbishop of Canterbury who is your master. You might have to ask Herman Goering who killed himself allegedly who is your master. Those victories of El Alamein you might have to ask the dead soldiers of the British and Allied infantry, who is your master? I cannot tell you who is your master. Mr. Thomas More, killed in the 1530s, cannot tell you who is your master. And the six wives of Henry VIII can less tell you who is their master. But you can read it in, for instance, the letter of Catherine of Aragon. And is this fellow, shall we say, a follower of Catherine of Aragon? Or a follower of Aragon? Here, it strikes me that there is a lot less innocence in your apparent silence that allows the dinosaur of the corporation to actually produce for you real life in mistakes for whole truth that is entitled wherein this film Fernando Ray your mistake thank you
Yeah, you're really right. 